دعوتك ربي ومن لسواك فيا رب حقق دعاء من دعاك دعوتك والقلب في فرحة يناجيك يا خالقي في علاك وأنت البصير وأنت العليم بحال ونور الحجام انطياك رأيتك ربي في كل شيء فزاد اليقين بقلب رآك ففي الزرع في الضرع في الأنس بانت بدائع صنعك بعض بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد اللهم لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا يا رب العالمين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <coughs> As usual, we are going through the halaqa of Al-Qawl al-Mufid, Aysar uh, al-Shuruh ala Al-Qawl al-Mufid fi Adilat al-Tawheed, the easiest explanation of beneficial speech in establishing the evidences of Al-Tawheed, the oneness. Okay. So today, inshallah, we'll go through page 114 of the book that is Tahrimu Dua'i Ghairillah, the impermissibility of invoking other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning asking for something from other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Regarding this, the author rahimahullah ta'ala mentions that invoking other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning supplicating to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seeking that which only Allah has the ability to do so, is major shirk, a shirk al akbar. It removes a person from the deen of al Islam irrespective of whether one being supplicated to is a living jinn, human being, or other than that. As for calling upon a present person for that which he actually has the ability to do while believing that this person has nothing more than a means and while having certainty that all of the affairs are in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's hand then this is permissible. For example, you are asking something from the person. Okay, and the person has the means and the person has the ability to help you. Okay, seeking help. Okay, so that is permissible. But if we seek help, meaning that if we give the qudra of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then that is major shirk and irrespective of whether the person is uh, man or woman, dead or alive, jinn or any other thing, wallahi, the person is out of the fold of al-Islam, meaning he's kafir. Okay. That is why in reference to this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Qasas, فَسَغَاثَهُ الَّذِي مِنْ شِيَعَتِهِ The man of his own party asked him for help. Okay, in Surah Al-Qasas, chapter, chapter number, I don't know, but uh, verse number is 15, Surah Al-Qasas. That is in uh, Juz 20, after Surah, uh, after, uh, before Surah Al-Rum, uh, before Surah Al-Ankabut rather, before Surah Al-Ankabut. So, Shaykh Al-Uthameen, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, has a book on the explanation of uh, Al-Qawl Al-Mufid, okay? And uh, uh, the explanation of Kitab Al-Tawheed by Sheikh Muhammad bin Salih Al-Uthameen, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, that is the explanation, and it is in volume 1, page 260. Okay, and there is another book that the reference was brought here, that is Al-Madkhal Li Dirasat Al-Aqeedah. And this is uh, 130 and other than that. So here, Tahrimu Du'ai Ghairillah. Many, many evidences are here. Now, the author has the Musannif, rahimahullah ta'ala, Sheikh Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab uh, al-Wasabi al-Abdali al-Yamani, rahimahullah ta'ala. He extensively has spoken about it in this section due to the abundant deviation related to, its, related to it amongst the people. Because there are many people, subhanallah, wal-iyad billah, ma'adhallah, they still ask help, ask for help from other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They, they still go and seek help from jinn. They still go and seek help from a human being. So much so that those human beings are considered to be God. Considered to be Rabb. So 
the, uh, in the in the verses in the verse that is mentioned earlier or there are many verses there is a clarification of the reality of those who are invoked alongside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay and there are consequences those who put partners beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so what is the reality reality of those invoked beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number 1 from those who are invoked is he who has been expelled from the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Min rahmatillah. They are, uh, they are expelled from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Such as the accursed devil, shaitan. A shaitan rajim that we know. The one who disobeyed the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is out uh, expelled from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thus, the one being invoked does not possess the power to benefit himself, not to mention others, as found in the verses from Surah An-Nisa, uh, verses 117 and 118. So, this is reality number one. Reality number two, of those who invoked besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who invoked alongside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, does not possess the independent ability to benefit or harm others the person the person who is uh, being called for has no ability to harm anyone nor benefit anyone rather they don't even have the ability to benefit or harm themselves when they feel sick they cannot cure themselves can they they cannot they are from the general body of weak and incapable creation okay Number three, those being invoked invoked are deceased and incapable. When someone is dead, dead, what is the point of having uh, making dua to someone who is dead rather than making the dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is al-hay and al qayyum Number four, those being invoked cannot hear those who call upon them. And even if they did, they would not be able to respond. Subhanallah. Allah mentions about this in Surah Fatir. In tad'uhum la yasma'u du'a'akum walau sami'u mastajabu lakum. Wa yam al-qiyamati yakfiruna bi shirkikum walau yunabbi'ukum ithru khabir. Okay. Number five. Those who invoked, those being invoked, do not own anything on earth nor in the heavens not only the earth but also as samawat and on the day of judgment they will disavow and refute those who called upon them meaning those ignorant people who are calling others other than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help they do not own the earth they do not own the heavens. On the day of judgment, they would say that I don't know them. They would disavow and refute those who called upon them. Okay, even on the day of Qiyamah, everyone would be nafsi nafsi. Even the one who is extremely evil. So, these are the traits of those who are called upon alongside Allah or without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The description or the sifa of the one who supplicates to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is detailed in the aforementioned verses, summarized in the following points. Okay, the points that we should take from here, especially those who call upon other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or who call upon someone along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one, he is one who the shaitan has gained mastery over, leading him astray. Meaning, he is in full control of shaitan. Whatever shaitan tells him to go, he would go. Okay. He does not obtain any benefit or any help, neither aversion from any harm nor anything else. Meaning, he is not the one who is able to benefit. He is not the one who is able to help. Neither is he able to protect himself from any harm. Okay. Nor anything else. Number three, with this invocation to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is an oppressive, disbelieving polytheist. Okay, meaning the one who invokes other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
he is ظالم he is kafir he is mushrik number four the fourth type of people his invocation meaning the dua to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is dalala it is misguidance okay it is batil, falsehood, and it is stupidity. Stupidity means something idiot, like absolute stupid, absolute rubbish. Number five, he is from those destroyed and punished. Okay, if not in the dunya, but at least in the akhirah. And you would see them. Those who are not in the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wahdahu la sharika la, you will see them to be always, you will feel that the person has no khair. The person has no khair in the dunya, nor the person has the khair in the akhirah. That is why you would see one of his characteristics, always something bad, that if you just get along with him, there would something bad happen to you. Why? Because he is from those who are destroyed and punished. In addition to that, he would always command you or influence you to do something that is evil. And worst of them, worst of the evil is to commit shirk. Billah. Number six, animosity, meaning al-adawa, will take place between him and those whom he called upon. Even amongst themselves, the one who is calling other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the one who is being called, they will always have animosity. Al-adawa amongst themselves, which only increases his deep sorrow and Grief on the day of judgment. If this continues to take, uh, take uh, continues to take place, meaning the adawa, what will happen on the day of judgment? You will see the person to be extremely sorry, extremely sorry. Number seven, his example is that of a person who hangs his hopes on the weakest of things. billah. Okay. You would see him not to be hopeful. Rather, you will see him to be hopeful in things that are absolutely worthless, absolutely weak, like a spider web. And his example is uh, that of a man who stands at the rim of a well saying, come here, O water. Similar example is this is somebody, you know the well, the water well, Be'ir, that we call in Arabic, Be'ir. Mm -hmm. Somebody is standing on the edge of the Be'ir and he is, instead of pulling the water through the rope, he is calling the water to come. So one of the examples, those who call other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is something like that. You are calling other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like when you are standing on the well and you're telling the water to come up and the water is not coming up. Similarly, when you call to uh, uh, call other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning when you call to a dead person, invoke or make dua to a dead person, the dead person would not come back. The dead person cannot even hear, never mind coming back and responding to your affairs. Okay, that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says here in Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4 and chap uh, 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 verses are 117 and 18. In, in min illa wa in illa marida, la wa qala la min ibadika nasiban mafruda. They, all those who worship others than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Invoke nothing but female deities besides him. And they invoke nothing but shaitan, a persistent rebel. Marid means persistent rebel. Allah cursed him. And he, meaning shaitan, said, I will take an appointed portion of your slaves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-An'am, which is the seventh, uh, uh, Al-Ma'idah Al-An'am, rather the sixth chapter of the Quran, Allah says in verse 71, chapter 6, verse 71, قُلْ أَنَدْعُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ مَا Shall we invoke others beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the false deities, that can do us neither good nor harm? And shall we turn on our heels 
بعد إذا بعد بعد إذا هدان الله after Allah سبحانه وتعالى has guided us to the true monotheism كالذي استهوته الشياطين like one whom the shayateen the devils have made a, a made to go astray في الأرض حيران confused له أصحاب يدعونه إلى الهدى تنا through the earth له أصحاب his companions meaning the companions of shaitan uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, not the companions of shaitan له أصحاب his companions calling him to guidance saying come to us so this, uh, uh, this is shaitan calling كالذي استهوته الشياطين في الأرض حيران له أصحاب يدعونه إلى الهدى تنا okay shaitan at the shayateen or the minions of shayateen, the companions of shayateen, what do they do? First, they went astray. Then they are confused, wandering through the earth. Ashab, meaning these companions, his companions, uh, uh, shayateen's companions, ashab yad'un uh, uh, yad'unahu ila hudatina, calling him to guidance, saying, come to us. Say, قُلْ إِنَّهُ دَ اللَّهِ وَالْهُدَى Say, O Muhammad, إِنَّهُ دَ اللَّهِ وَالْهُدَى Indeed, the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only guidance. وَأُمِرْنَا لِنُسْلِمَ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ And we have been commanded to submit ourselves to the Lord of all that exists. Okay. In Surah Al-A'raf, that is, after Surah Al-An'am, the seventh chapter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in verse 194, Indeed, those whom you call upon besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are slaves like you. مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ عِبَادٌ أَمْثَالُكُمْ فَادْعُوهُمْ So call upon them فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لَكُمْ And let them answer you in كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ if, uh, if you are truthful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the same chapter, chapter number 7, Surah Al-A'raf, verse 197, he says, And those whom you call upon besides him, meaning beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, cannot help you, nor can they help themselves. Okay. لا يستطيعون نصركم ولا أنفسهم ينصرون. In Surah Yunus, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in verse 106, ولا تدع من دون الله ما لا ينفعك ولا يضرك فإن فعلت فإنك إذا من الظالمين. And do not invoke besides Allah Subhanahu wa Taala any that will neither profit you nor hurt you. ما لا ينفعك ولا يضرك. It will not benefit you. It will not, you know, harm you. فَإِنْ فَعَلْتَ But if in case you did so, فَإِنَّكَ إِذًا مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ You shall certainly be one of the ظَالِمُونَ Meaning those who are mushrikeen and wrongdoers. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Ra'ad, Okay. لَهُ دَعْوَةُ الْحَقِّ وَالَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِهِ لَا يَسْتَجِيبُونَ لَهُمْ بِشَيْءٍ إِلَّا كَبَاسِطِ كَفَّيِّهِ إِلَّا الْمَاءِ لِيَبْلُغَ فَاهُ وَمَا هُوَ بِبَالِغِهِ وَمَا دُعَاءُ الْكَافِرِينَ إِلَّا فِي ضَلَالٍ uh, verse number 14. For him, meaning for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the word of truth, da'watul haqq, i.e., none has the right to be worshipped but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those whom they, meaning the mushrikeen and the kuffar, invoke, yad'una min duni, la yastajibuna lahum bishay, answer them no more than one who stretches forth his hand. إلا كباسط كفي stretches for his hand إل من الماء اللي يبلغ فاه at the edge of the deep well remember I mentioned about the well okay لي يبلغ فاه for for water to reach his mouth وما هو ببالغ but it it doesn't reach him وما دعاء الكافرين إلا في ضلال and the dua or the invocation of the kuffar or the kafirin disbelievers is nothing but an error of no use, meaning it is absolutely nothing. Illa fi dalal, absolute misguidance rather. Surah Al-Nahl, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in verses 20 and 21, وَالَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ لَا يَخْلُقُونَ شَيْئًا وَهُمْ يُخْلَقُونَ أَمْوَاتٌ غَيْرُ أَحْيَاءٌ وَمَا يَشْعُرُونَ أَيَّانَ يُبْعَثُونَ Those whom they, meaning Al-Mushrikeen, invoke besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, have not created anything. لا يخلقون شيئا 
وهم يخلقون but they are themselves created uh, but are themselves created by who? by Allah سبحانه وتعالى أموات غير أحياء they are dead they are lifeless وما يشعرون أيان يبعثون they and they do not know when they will be raised up when they will be resurrected okay Allah سبحانه وتعالى says in سورة الحج that is in Jews number 14, uh, after Surah Al-Hijr rather, before Surah Bani Israel. Surah Al-Hajj, verse 62. ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْحَقُّ وَأَنَّ مَا يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِهِ هُوَ الْبَاطِلُ وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْعَلِيُّ الْكَبِيرُ That is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is the truth, the only true God of all that exists, who has no partners or rivals with Him. وَأَنَّمَا يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِهِ هُوَ الْبَاطِلِ Meaning, and they, meaning the mushrikeen, invoke besides him. It is batil, falsehood. وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْعَلِيُّ الْكَبِيرِ And indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is the most high and the most great. Al-Ali, Al-Kabir. In Surah Al-Hajj, the same surah, verse number 73, Allah says, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ ضُرِبَ مَثَلٌ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ إن الذين تدعون من دون الله لن يخلقوا ذبابا ولا اجتمعوا له وإن يسلكهم يسلبهم الذباب شيئا لا يستنقذوه من ضعف الطالب والمطلوب. Okay. Remember I was telling you about a fly that it can they cannot even harm a fly. Uh, they cannot even create a create a fly. O oh mankind, a similitude or similar has been coined. So listen to it carefully. Those who call beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala They shall never be able to create even a fly Even though they combine together for the purpose of creating a fly And if the fly snatched away a thing from them they would not have power to release it from the fly. Meaning if the fly takes anything, technically we, are, uh, we would not be able to do anything. We cannot get back what the fly has taken away from us. Okay. So, so weak are both the one who calls other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the one who is being called. Okay. The seeker and the sought. Both are weak in the uh, in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Mu'minun, verse number 117, uh, page number 119. Yes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that, And whosoever invokes and whosoever invokes or worships beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any other ilah, Okay, any other God, la burhan alahubi, of whom he has no dalil, no burhan, no evidence, no proof. Fa inna ma hisabuhu inda rabbi. Then his reckoning is only with his Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, indeed the kafirun, rather, surely the kafirun, the disbelievers in Allah and in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, la yuflihu al kafirun will not be successful. Is it just the kuffar? No, it is also the polytheists, the mushrikeen, the pagans, those who are worshipping sun, worshipping stones, and worshipping other, uh, other, uh, other creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, those who also worship the idols, worshippers of idols. Ubad al asnab in Surah Al-Shura, verse 200, uh, Shu'ara rather, Surah Al-Shu'ara, that is before Surah Al-Naml. Okay, before Surah Al-Naml. And this is after Surah Al-Furqan, Surah Al-Shu'ara. Verse 213, Allah says, Allah is prohibiting, prohibiting everyone, saying that do not invoke with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any other ilah. فَتَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُعَذَّبِينَ Lest you be amongst those who receive punishment, who are from the punished ones. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Qasas, verse 88, وَلَا تَدْعُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرٍ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُ كُلُّ شَيْءٍ هَالِكٌ إِلَّا وَجْهَ لَهُ الْحُكْمُ وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ This is the last verse of Surah Al-Qasas. Okay, Surah Al-Qasas is before Surah Al-Anikabut, chapter called Spider. Before that is Al-Qasas. Al-Qasas literally means the stories. Okay. Allah prohibits us saying that do not call anyone, any other ilah, any other God beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La ilaha illahu. No deity worthy of worship except him. There is no deity worthy of worship except him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kullu shay'in halikun illa wajha. Everything will be, will perish save his face. Everything would be perished except his face. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's face. Lahu al wa ilayhi turja'oon. The decision is his, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's. Wa ilayhi turja'oon. And to him, meaning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you all shall be returned. So the examples that I gave you earlier, talking about the, those who call beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the reality of those who are being called at I'm just going through the dalil of those, uh, of those, uh, of these two things, the seeker and the sought. Okay, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, rather, uh, we are in page 120 now. Masalul uh, ladina taqadu min dunillahi awliya. This is the verse that I had in my mind. Alhamdulillah, the author is saying over here that it is from Surah Al Ankabut, the chapter called the Spider, verses 41 and 42. Those who call beside Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Okay, awliya, those who call the awliya beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, protectors and the helpers. Their example is like a spider, the spider. Ittakhadat bayta, who builds for itself a house. Wa inna awhan al buyuti la baytul ankabut. But verily, the frailest, the weakest of houses is a spider's house. Of all the houses that we have on the earth, all the creations that have house, the weakest house is what? Surah Fatir, uh, verses 13 and 14. Allah says, He merges the night into the day and the day into the night. And He has subjected the sun, the sun and the moon. Each runs its course for a term appointed. And this is something even for the, those who are atheists, those who do not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is a sign for this. Even only if they come and learn, and only if they sincerely seek for the truth. Why? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Yasin, Allah says, after Surah Fatir comes Surah Yasin, لَشَّمْسُ يَنْبَغِي لَهَا أَن تُدْرِكَ الْقَمَرَ وَلَلَّيْلُ سَابِقُ النَّهَارِ وَكُلٌّ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ Meaning, it runs in its own course. So, mulk. such is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your Lord, lahul mulk, to him belongs the kingdom. 
وَالَّذِينَ تَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِهِ And those whom you invoke or whom you call, beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, مَا يَمْلِكُونَ مِن قِطْمِيرِ They do not even owe a qitmir. Qitmir is, qitmir is what? The thin membranes over the date stone. You know the date stone that you have, the tamur? The tamur that you ate, uh, the, the kajur that you eat, on the top of that seed, you have something really thin. After you finish with your date, you swallow it. The seed, the hard bit, on the top of that, there is something thin. They don't even own that. Who? The one who are being called by other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those who call people that are also creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they are being called beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the ignorant people, they do not even own that thin, okay, that thin membranes over the date stone. So Allah says, In tad'uhum, if you call them, la yasma'u du'aakum, they do not hear your dua, they do not hear your call. Walau sami'u, even if you if, even if they hear, heard, they cannot answer for you or for your dua. وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يَكْفُرُونَ بِشِرْكِكُمْ On the day of resurrection, on the day of uh, reckoning, they will disown your worshipping them. So those peer that are being worshipped, dead or alive, those who think that they are gods, Every one of them, those who think that they have better, better creation, a creator than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be worshipped, those who come up with different ideologies in terms of the worshipping, they are going to be on the day of Qiyamah rejecting the followers. They're going to be rejecting the followers. Okay. Within the Muslims, you have Naqshabandiya. Within the Muslims, you have, you know, Naqshabandiya, Tijaniya, Maturidiya, Ash'ariya, all these things that we have then in Indian subcontinent, there are many, there are many. Okay. You have uh, Sarsina in Bangladesh, then you have Azmir Sharif in India, then you have uh, 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 many, other, many other people. So much so that I can also bring an example of Nangapir. That is in Pakistan, yeah? You know what Nanga means actually? Fully naked. Fully naked. He walks around, he crawls like a baby, like fully naked. That is in Pakistan. And people worship him. Yes. You will find it on the social media. At this day and age, you will find everything. And you will see these people. Okay. So much so that there are people who do not even, you know, they call themselves Muslims, but they end up saying that beside this person, I have no one else, not even Allah to a degree. The famous one of the things that I remembered, uh, I think you would understand it. I will translate it eventually. They say those who are ignorant, they are people of Gaharsha. Gaharsha, that is another one of the peer that they follow. They say, yeah, peer. Peer means, beer. yeah, beer, yeah. Uh, Not beer, the well, no. Peer. Peer means someone like who is sheikh. Like Tijani sheikh. Uh, you, you know what I'm called? Uh, I think you will see it. Uh, uh, you know, you have, uh, you have the elders. Yeah. One of the elders, like leader of all. Leader of that uh, uh, ideology or, or that aqidah or that belief. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that if, if we want to go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, you could say that. Molan is the politest way as well. <laughs> but they are nowhere there. So I was going to say about Gohar Shah. So I mentioned about Nanga Peer. Mm -hmm. Then now Gohar Shah. There are people who are Ayyad Billah. They go to this level saying that May Allah forgive us all. Gohar Shahi ka kuttahu. Kuttahu me kuttahu. It means, it means that I am the dog of Gohar Shah. I am indeed a dog. I am indeed a dog. Meaning totally submitting to Gohar Shah, not submitting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You'll find that. Yes, you'll find that. So, 
إن تدعوهم لا يسمعوا دعاءكم ولا يسمعوا ما استجابوا لكم ويوم القيامة يكفرون بشركم. These are the very people that people worship. The ignorant people consider them to be peer, consider them to be maulana, consider them to be sheikh, sheikh al mashaykh, and everything. When they do not even call people to Allah subhanahu wa taala, rather they want to be worshipped other than Allah subhanahu wa taala. These very people on the day of Qiyamah would say, I don't know you. To who? The, to the followers. Billah. And none can inform you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is the all-knower of everything, Al-Khabir. In Surah Al-Zumar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا إِنْ سَأَلْتَهُمْ مَنْ خَلَقَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ لَيَقُولُونَ اللَّهِ If you ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they would say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For sure, there is no doubt. They would say, they would acknowledge that it is Allah who created the heavens and the earth. قُلْ أَفَرَأَيْتُمْ Say, O Muhammad, أَفَرَأَيْتُمْ Have you seen مَا تَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ What you are calling beside uh, or other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? In أَرَادَنِي اللَّهُ بِضُرْ If, and here it says that, in أَرَادَنِي اللَّهُ بِضُرْ If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends some harm for me, if Allah wants to cause some harm, هَلْ هُنَّ كَاشِفَاتُ ضُرِّ These are the very people. Can they remove the harm that Allah has, is afflicting me with? أَوْ أَرَادَنِي بِرَحْمَةٍ if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants me with rahma, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to show mercy upon me, okay. Hal mumsikatu rahmati? Could they withhold Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy? Meaning stopping uh, someone from being kind to others? Can can they do that? No. They cannot. Qul, say, O Muhammad, hasbi Allah. Sufficient for me is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alayhi yatawakkalul mutawakkilun. In him those who trust, meaning the believers, the mu'mineen, yatawakkalul mutawakkilun, must put their trust. They would have, they should have tawakkul in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So even those who are peer, those who are shaykh, or those who are maulana, and this and that, okay, they know that the creator of the heavens and the earth is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They know that they cannot withhold the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon his believers, upon the believers. They know that the calamity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts upon a servant, upon a slave, whether male or female, they can, these very people cannot remove uh, the calamities from these people. Okay? أرادني أرادني الله أرادني الله بضر هل هن كاشفات ضر؟ محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم was asked, uh, commanded to ask them. Of course, they didn't. They didn't have any answer to that. Allah سبحانه وتعالى said, قل أفرأيتم ما تدعون من دون الله أروني ماذا خلقوا من الأرض أم لهم شرك في السماوات يتوني بكتاب من قبل هذا أو أثارة من علم إن كنتم صادقين ومن أضل ممن يدعو من دون الله من لا يستجيب له إلى يوم القيامة وهم عن دعائهم غافلون وإذا حشر الناس كانوا لهم أعداء وكانوا بعبادتهم كافرين إن سورة الأحقاف الله سبحانه وتعالى said verses 4 to 6 say O Muhammad to the pagans to the مشركين أروني ماذا خلقوا من الأرض think all that you invoke beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أَرَأَيْتُمْ مَا تَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ Okay, think all that you invoke beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أَرُونِي Show me. مَاذَا خَلَقُوا مِنَ الْأَرْضِ These are the very people that we, uh, you are calling. Show me what did they create from the earth. أَمْ لَهُمْ شِرْكٌ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ or have they uh, is, in this case it is partnership or any part shirkun fi samawat means or have they a share in the creation of the heavens meaning have they created the heavens alongside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no they haven't ituni bi kitab meaning bring me a book revealed before this before the Quran min qabli hada or some trace of knowledge aw atharatin min ilm in support of your claims in kuntum sadiqin if you are true 
true if you are truthful woman adallu and who is more astray mimma yad'u min dunillah than one who calls or invokes beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala man la yastajibu lah such as will not answer him ila man la yastajibu lahu ila yawm al-qiyamah such as will not answer him till the day of resurrection wa hum an du'aihim ghafilun and who are even unaware of their calls meaning the dua to them wa idha hushira an-nas and when mankind are gathered on the day of resurrection kanu lahum a'da'a they meaning the false deities will become enemies for them it they will become seeker and the sort they will become enemies towards each other wa kanu bi'ibadatihim kafirin okay and will deny their worshiping Surah Al-Jinn, verse 18, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَنَّ الْمَسَاجِدَ لِلَّهِ فَلَا تَدْعُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحَدًا And the masajid, the places where the sujood take place, لِلَّهِ They are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. فَلَا تَدْعُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحَدًا So do not invoke anyone along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the same surah, verses 20 and 21. قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَدْعُوا رَبِّي Say, O Muhammad, indeed I call my Lord, I invoke my Lord. وَلَا أُشِّكُ بِهِ أَحَدًا And I do not put partners beside him. No partners. قُلْ إِنِّي لَا أَمْلِكُ لَكُمْ ضَرًّا وَلَا رَشَدًا Say, O Muhammad, إِنِّي indeed I لَا أَمْلِكُ لَكُمْ ضَرًّا Do not withhold or Possess any harm, wala rashada, nor bring or to bring you to the right path. The power. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi is commanded by Allah to say that it is not my power to cause you harm or to bring you to the right path. Rasulullah Sallallahu has had no power to cause harm, nor did he have any power to bring people to the right path. It is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. The verses concerning this topic are numerous. There are many adillah. Okay. Now, let's go through a hadith. Rather, two hadith. Allah, uh, uh, it is a hadith that is by An-Nu'man ibn Bashir radiallahu ta'ala anhu. What Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. Ad-du'a huwa al-ibadah. Ad-du'a, meaning the supplication, it is al-ibadah, i.e. worship. Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that he is in Surah Al-Surat Ghafir, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ أُدْعُونِي أَسَّجِبْ لَكُمْ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَكْفِرُونَ عَنْ عِبَادَتِي سَيَدْخُلُونَ جَهَنَّمَ دَاخِرِينَ And your Lord said, invoke me, meaning believe in my oneness, meaning Islamic monotheism, and ask me for anything. أُدْعُونِي أَسَّجِبْ لَكُمْ I will respond to your invocation. Indeed, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَكْبِرُونَ عَنْ عِبَادِهِ Those who scorn my ibadah, meaning do not call me, do not invoke me, and do not believe in my oneness. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَكْبِرُونَ عَنْ عِبَادَتِي سَيَدْخُلُونَ جَهَنَّمَ دَاخِرِينَ They will surely enter hell in humiliation. داخرين, دخر. Okay, they would enter the hellfire for sure with humiliation. So, seen here, Sayyid Khuluna, seen, it is seen for ta'kid. Okay, so this hadith is recorded by Abu Dawud rahimahullah ta'ala in Kitab salah Okay, uh, in his Sunan, volume 2, page 161, hadith number 1479, as well as Imam Tirmidhi rahimahullah ta'ala recorded this in three locations under the tafsir of Surah Al-Baqarah. Okay. Surah, uh, uh, Surah Tirmidhi under the tafsir of Surah Al-Baqarah in, in Sunan volume 5 page 211 hadith number 2969. Then the second time he brought it uh, in the tafsir of Surah Al-Ghafir. Okay. Volume 5 of Sunan Tirmidhi. Uh, Pages 374 and 375, hadith number 3247, and in the book of supplication, meaning Kitab al Dua, uh, uh, Kitab al Adi'ya, rather, volume 5, page 456, hadith number 3372. Likewise, Ibn Majah rahimahullah ta'ala recorded this hadith, okay, recorded this riwayah, this narration, in a book, uh, in Kitab al Dua, 
Okay, Sunan Ibn Majah, uh, in his Sunan volume 2, page 1285, uh, uh, 1285, hadith number 3828, and the snad of this hadith is authentic, sahih. The next hadith is from Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. He reported that he rode behind Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam one day, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said to him, O young boy, indeed I shall teach you some important words of advice. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Preserve Allah, and Allah will protect you. Preserve Allah, and you will find him in front of you. Wasal and when you ask, then certainly ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wasalillah. When you seek Faida Sa'anta Ista'an Billah. Faida Salta? Faida Salta Fasalillah. Faida Sa'anta? Fasta'an Billah. That's the hadith, yeah. Faida Salta Fasalillah. So when you seek, uh, when you see, uh, when you ask Allah subhanahu wa taala, then certainly ask Allah subhanahu wa taala. فَإِذَا اسْتَعَنْتَ فَاسْتَعِنْ بِاللَّهِ When you seek help, then seek from, uh, seek help from Allah subhanahu wa taala alone. And know, wa'lam, oh young boy, that if the entire ummah together in order to benefit you, they would not be able to benefit you except with that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had already written for you. Give me the Arab. Uh, do you have the Arabic one here? Uh, that's fine. I think, uh, inshallah, the hadith you already got uh, some of that. That وَعَلَمْ أَنَّ الْأُمَّةَ لَوْ اجْتَمَعَتْ أَنْ يَنْفَعُوكَ بِشَيْءٍ لَمْ يَنْفَعُوكَ بِشَيْءٍ إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَكْ This is the hadith. If they were to gather in order to afflict you, This is the hadith. If they were to gather in order to inflict you, afflict you with some type of harm, they would not harm you with anything except with a thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already written to befall on you. This is the ending of the hadith. The pens have been lifted and the scrolls have been dried. Back in the day, you know, the writing, it used to be with the ink. So ink is dry now. This particular hadith is recorded by Imam Tirmidhi in a chapter called Descriptions of the Day of Standing. Sifatu Yawm Al-Qiyamah. Sifatu Yawm Al-Qiyamah, section 59. And the Imam Tirmidhi in his Sunan, volume 4, page 667, hadith number 2516. As well as Imam Ahmad, rahimahullah ta'ala, in his Musnad, volume 1, page 293, page 303, as well as page 307, with Sanad and Jayyid, with a good chain. Imam Al-Albani, rahimahullah ta'ala, Nasruddin Al-Albani, Sheikh Nasruddin Al-Albani, rahimahullah ta'ala, graded this narration, this riwayah to be sahih in Mishkah, in Al-Mishkah, hadith number 5302, and in Zilal Al-Jannah, uh, Zilal hadith number 316. A Sheikh Al-Muhaddith Muqwil ibn Hadi Al-Wadi'i, rahimahullah ta'ala, said in Sahih Musnad, volume 1, page 489, it is authentic due to other riwayat. <coughs> Subhanallah. So, all the things that we have in front of us goes to show one thing, that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who should be called. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who should be sought help. Okay. So, at the bottom of it, uh, the author rahimahullah ta'ala of this book al qawl al mufid he brings here that collected in uh, sheikh muqul bin hadi al wadi rahimahullah ta'ala's jami' sahih volume 6 page 293 it has been declared authentic by sheikh al albani in sahih al tirmidhi hadith number 2950 this riwayah is explicit in establishing that supplication is worship all this adilla 
is to prove one thing. That is that dua is ibadah. A dua al ibadah. That is why it is impermissible, it is haram to direct the dua to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because dua is worship. So worship worship needs to be done for who? For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Jami'a Sahih and Sahih Tirmidhi, the, uh, here the author rahimahullah ta'ala mentions that the point of reference in the narration uh, in the narration is that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's statement: "Ida sa'alta fasalillah." When you ask, then certainly ask Allah subhanahu wa taala, meaning invoke Allah subhanahu wa taala alone, without any partners. Therefore, it is haram to call upon other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that which only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the ability to fulfill. Far is he removed from all the imperfections. Okay. And then even after this multiplicity of evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah, you do not cease to find within the Muslim ranks who uh, ranks one who calls upon the dead, the jinn, the awliya, or others. Okay. You do not see his meaning after all these adillah from the Quran, from the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Don't ever think that you will not find people calling other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will still find people calling other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As simple as it is. You will still find people calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala along with someone. To this day. Of course, we have the Nasara. Of course, we have the Hindus as well. We have the Buddhists. Okay. One of them calls out saying that, O Khamsata. While another calls out, O Ibn Al uh, Alwan. Another calls, O Sayyidah Zainab. All these names are called and they are the creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another calls out saying, O Jilani. If you only saw that which the Rafidah Shia, the foolish nation, does at the grave of Al Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhu, in terms of supplication, invoking, meaning the dua, and seeking help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and other than that, from the various types of major shirk, you would be absolutely shocked. And to this day, you will see. Just uh, over a month ago, we had the Ashura, right? Six weeks ago, five, six weeks ago? Yeah. What did they do? They were asking Ali radiallahu, uh, uh, Hussain radiallahu ta'ala anhu for help. Yeah. They were asking Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu for help. All the sifat, all the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, al-uluhiyya, al-ubutiyya, are given to who? To Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So much so that even Tawheed al-Mutaba'a that we mentioned, the oneness in following Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that is not the, in, in the case of Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Okay. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not reward the Sufiyya. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not reward the Rafidiyya. Rafida, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not reward the Shia with any good on behalf of the Muslims. Allahumma ameen. That is today's halaqa insha'Allah. And insha'Allah next week we'll go through another. Okay. That is another ibadah. Wal ibadah la takunu illa, illa lillah. Another is a type of worship and worship is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, inshallah we'll go through that next week. Barakallahu fikum. Subhanallahu bihamdihi. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.